Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. This video is going to be about three different things using the arrow keys, which are these keys here on your keyboard, and the arrow keys and with that are on the number keypad that are these, and you can see the arrows, and also the mouse wheel, holding down the Alt and the Shift key. The first is the nudge. With nothing selected, you can select your nudge. So I've got my nudge for one inch. If I use this arrow key, it'll nudge it one inch to the left. If I nudge it up, down, right, or left, it goes one inch. Now I'm gonna make a duplicate of that and I'm gonna nudge it over. So that's a one inch nudge. If I take the original, and hold down the control key and nudge it, it nudges at a half of an inch or half the nudge distance. If I hold down the shift key and it hit the arrow, it doubles it to two inches. I hope I'm kind of explaining that good. Let's, uh, let's make a duplicate and nudge it over one inch. Let's try this, see if this will work. We're going to get the parallel dimension tool and we're going to go from that node to that node and you can see that's one inch. Now I'm going to try to nudge it again and it, well, it's not going to record it. But anyway, if you hold down the shift, let's put this back. Well, I'm going to hit EC and it'll make everything equal. I'm going to nudge it once with the arrow key. I'm going to put it back. I'm going to hold down the shift key and hit the arrow key. It doubled it to two inches. I'm going to put it back. If I hold down the control key, it only nudged it half the distance. It's not a half an inch. It's half your nudge distance. This is called macro and micro nudge factor. So that's these arrow keys. You have to set the nudge factor with nothing selected. As soon as you select something, you go to a different... You know, this is the rectangle box, so you can corner off your rectangles. The other thing is text and size using your keypad numbers. The keypads actually have arrows at the eight, four, six, and two. This is uphill, this is downhill, this is totally different, we'll, we'll show that. So I have a text that is 300 points. I'm going to hold down the control key and hit this top arrow and it moved it. So the control key just moves text around, much like a nudge. Now I'm going to hold down the shift key and move the top arrow. And if you'll look right here at 300, 300 points, well, oh, I'm not. I'm watching not doing the right arrow. So I'm gonna hold down the, I'm gonna hit the eight arrow key, holding down the control button and look at the points. They're going up one point at a time, real slowly. If I hit the two arrow key, it'll go down real slowly one point at a time. If I hold, let's get this back to 300. So you can tell, if I hold down the control and the shift key, it's gonna grow by 10 points. I'm holding down the six arrow key. If I hold down the four, it'll go back 10 points at a time. So your control button is the key when you're using the arrow. When you need to make a font just a little bit bigger, so we could go to 340, and then still hold down the control button and hit the eight arrow key. Now we're at 341. You can slowly increase the size. The shift key just will help you move text around with those same arrows, much like your nudge keys over here. So if I hit the up arrow key with my nudge, or if I'm on my keypad and I hold down the shift key, it'll go up. The next thing is with the mouse wheel, the wheel that's in the center of your mouse that spins. 
I've got the zoom tool on, but if I hold down the alt key, it will go up and down, scrolling up and down. If I hold down the shift key, it'll scroll left and right. If I don't hold down a key at all, that same wheel will zoom in and out. So once you get to a part you really want to look at and you want to scroll around that, you could hold down the, when you have your magnifying glass, hold down the shift key and you can minutely move it. Hold down the control key or the, excuse me, the alt key and you can minutely move it. So I'm going to hold down the wheel with nothing selected and it's zoomed in. Hold down the alt and it's going to zoom in and, or up and down the shift left or right, depending on which way you spin the wheel. Pretty useful keys. I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.